Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. It's been a beautiful uh, morning and transitioning into a fantastic afternoon here for our Tuesday. And it gets better as we go into the next couple of days with temperatures actually going a little bit cooler than normal with no humidity, no threat of rain or severe weather. That is definitely a welcome scene after what we dealt with over last week and especially with everything kind of culminating with that severe weather event on Sunday and Sunday night. So thankfully a quiet end to uh, the long holiday weekend with Memorial Day yesterday. Beautiful day yesterday as well, but high temperatures today should be right around or just above 80 degrees. We were in the upper 50s to low 60s early this morning for those low temperatures. You see uh, down to 58 in Henderson, 59 for the lows for Evansville and Carmi, but even some 60s though in some of the warmer spots from Owensboro down to Calhoun and Madisonville as well. We're going to be uh, dealing with temperatures for lows over the next few nights in the low to mid 50s and eventually mid to upper 50s once again by uh, later this week and uh, back in the 60s for lows as we warm up for the weekend. But before the weekend, we've got a great stretch of weather here to enjoy, not just the rest of today, but tomorrow into Thursday and Friday as well. And some beautiful uh, scenes there of dark blue skies, a few thin wispy clouds there mixing in with those cumulus clouds developing here that we've seen kind of ramp up over the last couple of hours. No rain associated with those today, just what we call those fair weather clouds. No issues associated with those, but that's a view from our Bill Morgan Roofing and Construction Tower camera looking towards the Blue Bridge in downtown Owensboro. A beautiful afternoon shaping up. Same story with traffic picking up as well here as the, uh, the lunch rush is underway from our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union Tower camera. But it looks like the traffic that is picking up is running smoothly now on both our Lloyd Expressway and I-69. Uh, things looking uh, just fine as we take a look out towards the east side of Evansville. And finally, downtown Evansville, you can see those shadows of the cumulus clouds reflecting off of the Ohio there uh, with a good amount of sunshine still mixing with those clouds. And this is essentially what we're going to be dealing with over the next several days. A mix of sun and clouds, but more sun than cloud cover. And uh, those high temperatures will be down a little bit. 78 degrees. I think this will actually be a little bit warmer in some spots than where we'll top out tomorrow. So just an indication of how uh, much cooler we're going to be, but very pleasant and very comfortable as well. A couple of in indicators of where this transition period is right now are the dew points and the winds. The wind direction this morning was more out of the west. Now it's turning to the northwest as that cool front starts to work through. It's going to be a dry front, uh, but the winds have been picking up, gusting anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour, and also the dew point. This morning around daybreak, it was at about 60 to 62 degrees. We're now back into the mid 50s, so that drier air slowly starting to filter in as we go deeper into this afternoon as that front starts to approach the tri-state. And we'll really feel the effects of that front by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Mid 50s for lows, much lower dew points, so the air is going to be much more comfortable in terms of the humidity and temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler than where we are even right now. I think we'll be in the mid 70s for tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. We're sitting in the upper 70s, just shy of 80. No 80s on the board right now, but we've got 79 is one of the more popular numbers from Santa Claus down 231 and a little bit to the southeast in uh, Tell City. Also uh, Calhoun, Madisonville, Dixon, Greenville, all sitting at 79. Same story for Morganfield and Carmi as well. And again, we'll range anywhere from the upper 70s to the lower 80s by uh, later on this afternoon. Wind speeds right now, uh, these are sustained speeds, not your gusts. So a sustained speed of 20 miles per hour over in Carmi, sustained for 17 miles per hour in Jasper, 14 mile per hour wind, again, out of the west northwest uh, over in Santa Claus at this hour. No rain, and that is some good news. We had plenty of rain indicated by those river flood warnings you see on Doppler radar in those uh, lime green colors. Of course, all the wind damage, the tornadoes that we had, and uh, we're looking at at least a couple of confirmed tornadoes, obviously the strong long track tornado that approached uh, and moved through southern and southwestern Hopkins County, just north of Dawson Springs, the Charleston area only, uh, even up to Sixth Vein, a little bit of damage there from that storm. Right now, with the survey that's completed on the ground, at least from the National Weather Service, a high-end EF3 could potentially be upgraded to an EF4 as they are actually bringing in structural engineers to check some of the structure damage to see if that needs to be upgraded to an EF4. Just within the last couple of hours, the Weather Service has confirmed another tornado. Uh, not certain of the path. That will be released later this afternoon. But in the Island, Kentucky area, some EF1 damage of a tornado 
with estimated 90 mile per hour winds. So we'll see where that track lays out in southeastern southern McLean County. Again, the Weather Service will release that information later on this afternoon. And a lot of rainfall down again, those same hard hit areas along and north of the Western Kentucky Parkway between Saturday and Sunday. Our Doppler radar estimating anywhere from five to seven plus inches of rainfall and a couple of rivers are going above flood stage including the green at Calhoun is already above flood levels and will continue to do so until it crests Thursday evening. Same story for the white in Petersburg. It'll crest about a half a foot above flood stage and just shy of flood stage by a few feet for the Little Wabash in uh, Carmi. But Future Tracker thankfully shows no rain on the way for the next couple of days and this is going to be the scene again yet again the next several days a mix of sun and clouds high temperatures in the mid 70s. Check out that forecast for tomorrow. 76 low temperatures in the low to mid 50s Wednesday night Thursday morning and it continues to get on better through the rest of the week upper 70s by Friday low 80s for the weekend but we have scattered showers and storms that'll come and go in waves I think plenty of dry time for the weekend uh, but again not anything you necessarily want to cancel any outdoor plans over but certainly have a backup plan thankfully fingers crossed we're not dealing with anything severe at this time but of course you don't need severe weather to have sure. uh, impacts okay with those could have some lightning so if you have any outdoor mm -hmm. plans for the weekend okay just again have a backup plan in place